What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video about Lightroom. My name is Cinnamon Wolf, private photo editor and business coach for creatives. And today we are going to be talking about using the quick collection in Lightroom, which is one of my favorite things to do in Lightroom. And not a lot of people know about it or understand how to use it. So let's go ahead and open up Lightroom. I am in just a wedding catalog. I'm in library mode. Um, and I'm going to show you how to put images into the quick collection and why you would want to do so. So there's a few different ways to go about getting images into the quick collection. Now, let me point your attention over here. Again, we're in library mode. So if you go right here under the catalog settings, now if your arrow is like this, you won't see it. So make sure you drop down that arrow. You'll see these sections right here, photographs, all synced photographs, quick collection right here, previous import, previous export as catalog. Now, if you do not see this quick collection right here, that's because you have not added anything to the quick collection so far within this catalog. So how do you go about doing that? You can do this a couple of different ways. If you are selected on a picture and you right click, you will see the option to add to quick collection this way. You can also see that the keyboard shortcut is mentioned here as well, B. So if you are selected on a picture and you just simply click B, it will add the photo to the quick collection. You see that just popped up right there. You can also, I believe, add it to quick collection over here in your menu. Let me see if I can, yep, right here at the top, add to quick collection. So there's a few different ways you can go about adding photos to the quick collection. So I am going to add a bunch of photos to the quick collection and then I'm gonna show you why you would want to do so. So I'm gonna add these photos by using the paint can, which is another one of my favorite features. So I clicked on the paint and I already had it set to target collection, quick collection. So now I'm just going to simply select on a couple of these images and it doesn't actually, you can see that the way that you know that it's added to the quick collection is that little circle comes up in as solid when you click on it. That's how you know that these photos are added to the quick collection. And again, this, there's no rhyme or reason here. I'm just clicking on photos so you can see what happens when I do move them over to the quick collection. Okay, that should be enough. So now we have 23 photos in the quick collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that those photos that I just clicked on are all here in the quick collection. Now, this is the beauty of the quick collection and why you would use it. In a quick collection, you can actually move photos around. So this is different from sorting photos um, into you know, capture time or how they were added or just any of these little metadata ways that you can sort photos. The, in the quick collection, you can physically move photos into whatever, whatever order you want them to be in by simply clicking and holding on the photo and then moving in until you see that black line come up and then you can drop it where you want it. Now, why would you want to move photos around in a quick collection? Well, number one, you can see, you can get them in whatever order that you want them in, regardless of their file name or anything, the capture time, any of that stuff. Um, and this is great for blog posts. So if you are doing blog posts of your photos and you want those photos to show in a specific order, you can move them around in the quick collection export them and they'll already be in the order that you want them to show in your blog post, whether you want to just upload them directly to your blog post or put them through blog stomp. So this is a fabulous way for wedding photographers, family photographers, any photographers who are wanting to blog their photos in a specific order, you can arrange them in that specific order within Lightroom first in the quick collection, export them, Make sure that when you export them, you put a number so that they export in order of number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so that they're in order. And then you can upload them right into your blog post and they'll all just be in order. It saves a ton of time. So I hope that you found that helpful. Any questions, feel free to write down below. And if you like this video and found it helpful, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up and maybe even give me a subscribe for more um, and hit the notification bell. And anytime I upload a new video, you will get notified. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day.